Good morning and welcome to West Coast Grandma. Well, the other day I made cowboy candy, which is a kind of a sweet and hot sauce that you can use for burgers or with cream cheese as a spread. Um, it's delicious with crackers and everything else. Well, I had four and a half pounds of uh, jalapenos and it only made maybe 11 or 12 tiny jars. So I've decided that today I am going to, well actually over the next two days, I am going to try to kind of come up with my own recipe and make a, kind of a variegated cowboy candy. I have so many peppers, sugar rush uh, peach, sugar rush red, so many hot peppers and I am going to gather peppers and I am going to try to make a batch of cowboy candy that's all colored and I'm thinking it's probably gonna taste the same. So I'm out in my garden, I'm going to pick uh, as many as I can, and I'm gonna to try to make this a worthwhile batch. So I'll just take you with me and you can see all the different peppers that I'm gonna be putting into my basket. All my peppers are in this little plastic greenhouse. I just find that they grow well in here. Um, the only thing is, of course, you need to water them all the time, but um, I just wanted to show you these peppers right in here. These ones, I don't know if you can see, the beautiful big red ones. This, these are paprika. And pretty quick, I'm going to be harvesting them and I'm going to have my husband smoke them on our smoker for maybe just a half an hour or so. And then I'm going to dehydrate them and make them into uh, smoked paprika, which I love. And um, it's really expensive. So I'm just thinking that I've got these couple of plants and I've got one other one, random one I stuck in my garden that's just covered as well. And I'm going to be making smoked paprika. Um, behind that, these are all jalapenos. Um, they are called, I've got all my tags in here, Craig's Grande Jalapenos. So I am just going to pick some of these, for starters, just the green ones. And this is going to be my green color for these. Alrighty, I've got my basket here. So I'm just going to continue picking all these jalapenos and then some different red ones. And I will show you some of them. I have a Rapamo. Um, quite a few different ones. Shishido, I've got some red ones. I'm going to add a few just for the color. And then I'm going to start picking my uh, Sugar Rush Peach, which I have out in my garden. I have so many. I must have 500. So I'm going to get busy and then we'll get back uh, when we have our collection all ready. Another couple of varieties that are interesting. These are Boana Malata and they are hot peppers as well and they will turn red but look at this purple color right now so i'm going to add a handful of those these ones are hungarian wax so i figured that's going to be another little different color because my sugar rush peach are just a pale yellow so i figured that all these odd colors are going to make something really interesting These are my Sugar Rush Peach. This is just one of many bushes, but I'll just show you how, see they're quite, um, they're just quite yellow. They're called Sugar Rush Peach and there's actually Sugar Rush Red in here as well, but I've never really had them turn too much of a color. Although this one might be starting to a little bit here. It, it might be getting a little bit more towards the peachy color. So anyway, I am going to pick a bunch of these. I have a few more bushes that are absolutely loaded. So I'm gonna get busy picking them and then we're gonna go back and start processing them. I probably won't make the actual cowboy candy till tomorrow, um, but it takes a long time just to process all these because I don't really wanna put the seeds in. It'll be just too hot. So um, I will keep on picking and then I'll meet you back in my kitchen. So I have all my mixed peppers here in my sink and I'm just giving them a rinse. Like look at those colors all together. Like what do you think? Is this going to make kind of a cool cowboy candy? I'm thinking it's gonna. So anyway, I am going to uh, just make sure these are all washed and I'm going to weigh them all. So once I get that done, I'm just going to uh, cut the ends off de-seed them, just pull the seeds out so I'll be wearing rubber gloves and probably end up putting a mask on in my glasses and I'm going to get them all ready um, to put into my food processor which I'm hopefully going to do tomorrow and process them. So I'm going to spend the rest of uh, probably the next two hours just getting these all ready. It is a little time consuming 
But you know, I think this one's going to be worth it. So I will catch you tomorrow. Welcome back, a new day, and we're gonna get this uh, cowboy candy done, canned, and on the shelf today. So I did spend, it did take me about two hours to get all these chopped up, and I am wearing gloves. I have contact lenses, that would be, that would be pretty scary to get uh, jalapeno juice in my eyes. So, uh, gloves is a good idea. I actually had to have a mask on when I was cutting it up because it, uh, it definitely affects me. So anyway, I have my blender all set up, and here's the jalapenos um, chopped up. I just uh, took the stems off, took most of the seeds out. There's a few here and there. And just made sure the pieces aren't too big. And we are gonna get them in the blender. Well, not the blender, in my food processor. And we are gonna try to chop them up not too fine because I want the colors to show up. So this is an experiment. I'm hoping it's going to work. So we're definitely just going to put it on pulse. And we're going to see if we can just make these small, but not ground right up. We don't want it to look like relish. We want it to look just a little bit more pieces. little tiny bit more whoa that is strong <coughs> wow jalapenos they they do get to me but it's so worth it in the end so i don't know if you can see this that's the consistency i want little tiny pieces but at least the colors are still going to show so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get through these two bowls, it's gonna take me a few minutes, and I have a big bowl here that I'm just gonna dump them all into. And when I get that all done, or we're gonna continue on for the next step, I have everything measured out, and at this point, it's not gonna take us too long. So I'll get them all chopped up, and then we'll get back and make the sauce. Well, we're back. Um, look at this. I think this is gonna work out really, really well. So. Um, so when I measured them all yesterday, I had eight pounds of jalapenos there and my recipe calls for three pounds. So I'm doubling all the ingredients, but as it turns out, I had some syrup left from the other day and it's just, it's exactly the same recipe. So I've already put that in the pan and I'm just doing the single recipe. So it would be three pounds of jalapenos, three or four pounds. And um, to that, I'm gonna make my syrup. I'm gonna get this turned on because we want to get all this into jars pretty darn quick. So I have two cups of apple cider vinegar, straight in, two cups of regular sugar. This is the organic cane sugar, that in, and two cups of packed brown sugar, that in, and then we're going to add the spices. There's three teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of turmeric, a half a teaspoon of celery seed, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, which is my own pepper I ground from my dried cayenne uh, peppers last year. And uh, that's about it. So we're gonna pop all that in and we're gonna bring that to a boil. So we'll get this all stirred together. It does some um, a lot of the moisture comes out of the jalapenos when they go into this liquid. The first time I made it, I thought there's no way that's going to be enough liquid. But once I added them and it cooked for a couple of minutes, and then I took out the jalapenos with a slotted spoon, there, there actually was not as many jalapenos as I thought and a lot of, a lot of the juice. So if it doesn't seem like a lot, don't worry about it because it will definitely turn into a lot of syrup in the end. So I'm just going to give this a good stir here and I'm going to let that come to a boil. So what we're going to do is we're going to let it come to a boil and then turn it down and simmer it for about five or six minutes. Then I'm going to add my jalapenos. Then I'm going to be uh, simmering that for four minutes exactly. Then I am going to take the jalapenos out with a slotted spoon and fill the jars. 
Then I'm gonna bring my syrup back to a boil for another five or six minutes. And then I let it cool off for three minutes and put it into the jar. So we'll go through that process here in a minute or two. Uh, for now, I am going to get my mess cleaned up while this is coming to a boil. I'm gonna get my jars all ready and then we're gonna come back when uh, we're all ready to start putting it into the jar. My uh, syrup is, uh, it has been simmering for six minutes and we are now going to put all this jalapeno, chopped up jalapeno in here. I'm gonna figure out how to do this without touching the jalapenos. So let's try to scoop it all in here. Just amazing how strong the air gets when there's jalapenos. It's just the oil, it must be just like a, um, a spray or something in the air because Anyway, let's get all this in here. Good. There we go. Nearly in. Not going to waste any of it, that's for sure. Whoa, there's a lot. I didn't really think there'd be that much, but I guess eight pound of, pounds of jalapenos is not too bad. And there's still more in my garden. It's because I'm still going to make my most awesome hot sauce, which we will be doing together one day. There we go. Good. So now I'm just going to give this another stir and turn up the heat. And we're going to get this coming to a boil so that we can simmer it for four minutes exactly. There we are. So, and I have my jars all ready, so we will come back when I'm, when I'm gonna be taking the jalapenos out, which is in about, well, probably gonna be about six to seven minutes for it to come to a simmer and then simmer for four minutes. Okay, so we will be back in a couple. And we're back. There's my timer, exactly four minutes. So, we're gonna get this, uh, into the jars. So I have one of these little slotted spoons like this. I use that. It works well. And of course, my little funnel for canning works for everything. So we're going to fill jars. And it's always messy when I do it. I think though, this is going to work well. This colored It's surprising how much it's cooked down. Like I said, you, it just doesn't seem like there's gonna be a lot of syrup, but there is a lot of syrup. Okay. I am going to um, just do a couple of these jars uh, and then I'll continue on on my own. So um, here's my little jar, which I have put the sauce in, or uh, the jalapeno in. So I fill them all. I'm just gonna make sure some of them I've kind of got a lot in and others look a little on the full side. So I'm just gonna make sure that we're gonna have about a quarter to a half inch of headspace, which it actually looks like it's going to be. I mean, just imagine these for Christmas for a gift. I just think these are going to be very, very cool. But, yeah. The other jalapeno uh, cowboy candy I made is just, it looks just like, um, like hot dog relish. It's just that very dark green color. So I'm just going to continue filling these and then we'll get the syrup boiling again. Well, we're back. And I'm sorry that the view of me is of my apron, but it is my favorite one with all the bears on. Speaking of bears, my husband on his way to work this morning stopped at the side of the road and watched Mother Bear and her two cubs eating blackberries. So that was going to be Victoria this morning. So that was kind of cool. Anyway, um, I have now boiled my sauce for six minutes. I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to 
pour it into my measuring cup to make it a little easier very carefully. I don't think I'm going to need that much. So there we go. So let's put that there. Ooh, the sugary syrup is going to make a mess. So I am now going to pour it in each jar. I ended up having to run uh, into my storage area downstairs and grab a, oh, there's my timer, and grab a couple more jars. So actually, it looks like it's going to make more than I thought. All right. So we want about a half an inch of head space, and I can see right away some of them I'm going to have to adjust. But you do have to go in and give them a bit of a stir to get the air bubbles out. And see, now that's perfect. And same with this. So we'll do the ones that I've just poured this sauce onto. And as for the rest of this juice when it's left over, I just pour it into some hot jars and put some lids on and it's sealed. And you can keep it. Now I haven't done it, but apparently it's a really good marinade for chicken. Uh, or numerous meat or whatever you'd like to use it for. So um, I've always been told to not waste it because it is very tasty and it's a real, uh, well, I wouldn't say sweet and sour, hot and sour sauce. So it's, yeah, it's definitely delicious. Okay, so when you've done that, you can go ahead and just adjust these. See, this one is too full, so I'm just going to put some into this one here. We don't want them too full because they're going to go in the canner. And as for my canner, I have not turned it on yet. It's sitting on my stove. It is not turned on yet because um, years of canning and I wondered why almost every time I was going to get a broken jar. And I didn't realize that you're not supposed to put like jars that are a little bit on the cooler side into boiling water. And because uh, it never broke at first. It was like through the process I could hear one break. Anyway, so you really kind of match the temperature. So my jars will be hot, so I put hot water in my canner. So uh, that way, as soon as I get the jars into the canner, I will then turn it on high and wait for it to come to a boil. So the next thing I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna do a couple here, and then I'll continue on, is it's really important to wipe all the rims, especially because this is a sugary sauce. So I give them a good wipe. When it's especially when it's sugar because it could have dried on by now even if you don't do that you're not going to get a good seal and then you'll end out with half a dozen jars in your fridge that you're going to have to eat up in the next little while so there we go we we'll make sure that we're wiping these really well so i just dipped this cloth in vinegar and that does a really good job of getting all the sugary I can feel it so I know and it's already dry so I know that you definitely need to get these cleaned off one more here there we go so the air bubbles are out of all of those I've got clean lids that I have not used before I don't reuse my lids when I'm canning unless I was so desperate I would pick through and get some good ones Okay, I have to run and get my rings. But anyways, I'm just gonna go get my rings and put them on just finger tight. And I can fit 10 jars in my canner. So when I've got 10 jars, I'll get them into the canner and we will get it started. And these, these are gonna be processed in my canner for 15 minutes. That's 15 minutes after it comes to a full rolling boil. So after 15 minutes, I turn it off and then when things settle down in the water and the rolling bubbles stop, then I will lift them out. So we are going to continue on here and keep getting through all these. Probably going to be three batches in the canner and then I'll come back. Found everyone was lid sealing. 
neck fat going in. Well, there you have it. 28 jars of cowboy candy and two pints of the um, of the juice, which is already sealed. So um, I didn't put it in the processor. I'm just probably gonna put it in my fridge and use it. Uh, they're all still popping. But there we are, 28 jars. And look at that. Like, that's gorgeous. So I always wonder what to do with all my Sugar Rush peach peppers because they're sort of a pale yellow. They're not as pretty as the jalapenos, but this looks really good. So hope you'll give it a try. Hope you'll subscribe to my channel, press the like button, and I will post that recipe down in the, um, in the description below. And hope you'll join me again. The West Coast Grandma is fun.